right, let's set some machine learning study goals for April. I have been doing this on and off for about eight months and I can tell you in the month where I didn't set specific study goals, I didn't do anything. So if you are also struggling with studying consistently and achieving the goals that you're setting in terms of reaching a new milestone in your theoretical development or even as a career milestone, I encourage you to follow along with this, but you can also just watch me discuss my goals and maybe get some inspiration for yourself. Before we begin, hi, I'm Sarah. Um, and if you're new here, I am a data science consultant for one and a half years now. And before that, I studied computer science and mathematics. So that's why I might be favoring some theory in these uh, topics, because like I'm a huge theory nerd. I studied math. It's in my nature. <laughs> what I do on this channel is breaking down the like tiny steps that you need to take to become better at data science or machine learning in an achievable, realistic way. Like I share the behind the scenes. You can see me struggling in my vlogs and I am not that shy to admit that some of these study goals, I don't reach them. But in the month where I didn't set study goals, I achieved even less. So that's why we're doing study goals. Basically, the idea is one month goals is a good time frame for me. And I will set like two to three goals for this month. And then I will update the blog post how it went. I'm a full-time data scientist, so I don't have huge amounts of time to study. So two to three small goals worked out well for me in the past. My first goal is reading a paper about transformers or starting at the beginners for transformers, you know, large language models, think chat GPT, but like baby. I already did some studies regarding this topic back in September of last year when I read Attention is All You Need, but that was slightly too advanced for what I already knew and I didn't really know where to go from there. So it sort of got pushed to the side. But I do follow Sebastian Raschka on Twitter and he posts a lot of great content recently uh, around large language models and he has a transformative reading list, he calls it, up on his blog. So I want to read the first of the papers that he recommends on that list. And that is the basics. So neural machine translation by jointly learning to align and translate from 2014. That is basically one step before Transformers. So I hope it will explain some of the motivations behind the Transformer architecture that was mostly introduced in the Attentionals or Unique paper from 2017. So three years later, I will link that paper in the description. So if you're also a beginner to the whole large language model transformer world, then you might want to check this out too. My second goal is actually also reading a paper, but this one is about the area of outlier detection, fraud detection, because that is what I'm currently dealing with at work, at my day job. And I want to educate myself further in this direction. Also, my goal of the year was to read 12 research papers and I'm a bit behind, so this might be good to catch up. So the paper I've chosen for this topic is variational autoencoder based anomaly detection using reconstruction probability not really catchy, but that is it. And that's basically about how to use deep learning and specifically autoencoders for anomaly detection. This paper is recommended in the outlier analysis book, which I will also link down below and which I can really recommend. I've been reading a few of those chapters as well. So I hope this will be a good recommendation and a nice paper to read. And my third goal and last goal is very related to the second because I want to code a small autoencoder network using PyTorch to do anomaly detection. At this stage, it's not as important how it performs or if it's the best network ever. I just want to go through the motions, uh, get familiar with PyTorch again because I haven't used it for a few months and really learn the basics of how autoencoders and outlier detection works together. And I will probably use the PyOD library in Python to generate an artificial outlier set just to get going. So these are my study goals for the month. Like I said, I really encourage you to also set your own. Uh, you will not study unless you really set a goal. And I feel like this monthly goal really motivates me to get going. And once I'm nearing the end of the month, I'm like, damn, I didn't really achieve all the things I wanted to. And then I can still quickly read a paper. It doesn't take that long. So it's nice if you feel at the end of the month, you didn't do a lot, you can quickly get that and then tick it off and you accomplish something that you can look back on. If you need some inspirations to set your own goals, or if you're just interested, if I really did study the things that I set for myself in the past, I will link some of my old goal setting posts down below and also some blog posts where I also talked about this and then set some updates at the end. That's it from me. I hope to see you in another video or vlog very soon. And until then, thank you so much for watching.